If you're watching this video, it may be because you have an interest in Minecraft roleplays. Or you could just be asking what happened to the entire Minecraft roleplay community as a whole, ever since its golden age all those years ago. There was once a point where Minecraft roleplays garnered millions upon millions of views, but now they seem to barely get off the ground. It's time to talk about it. The rise and fall of Minecraft roleplays. What really happened? Today, I'm here to talk about it. First, I'd like to introduce myself to those who may not know me. I'm Saber, of the Favor My Saber channel. I have created Minecraft roleplays since early 2015-2016, and would like to consider myself a part of this community after all this time, creating roleplays ever since that may or may not have been watched by you. I have a personal investment in the history of this entire community on YouTube, as well as its future. So without further ado, let's begin. Let's define the definition of the term Minecraft roleplay real quick. I'm sure to many the definition may be slightly different, so I'm gonna define it in terms of what I personally think it is. But again, could be different to some of you. And if that is the case, I'd love to hear what you think the definition is in the comments. I'll be looking out for them and really checking to see what the general sentiment is. Broadly speaking, a Minecraft roleplay to me is where people or players use the game's mechanics as well as their own imagination and creativity to create unique stories within Minecraft. Though, since we live in the modern age and have the power of technology, I also went ahead and asked ChatGPT what it thinks the definition of a Minecraft roleplay is. And here's what it had to say. Minecraft roleplay is a type of gameplay where players take on roles of characters within a specific Minecraft world and interact with each other to create a narrative or story. A pretty solid response in my opinion. Now, as I get into answering questions like what happened to the Minecraft roleplay community, I want to preface and say I may give information that seems off topic but is necessary to painting the full picture of the past and future of this community. There is no easy to see line in the sand for the answers we're looking for, and many different actions and aspects can be contributed to our end response. We all know that roleplays have transformed over the years, so let's start at the very beginning. Early Minecraft Roleplays To ensure you don't just focus on my own perspective and bias, I want to avoid pointing out any specific content creators in this video, and ask that you just keep in mind the YouTubers you've watched. And by the end of this video, I would love to see if the answers I provide here fit your experiences as well as my own. Plugging in the definitions we previously stated. A look at the Minecraft roleplays of the early to mid 2010s, the description seems to fit extremely well. Players simply take on the roles of characters in a world and interact with each other in the first person. This would often either be with other friends also in a call with them speaking, or with people typing out lines that the main perspective is reading off of. In the beginning of this niche, competition within the YouTube space for this type of content was very low. Those who wanted to start a roleplay had a promising chance of exposure in the YouTube algorithm, as demand from viewers craving more roleplays would further incentivize those creating the stories to make even more, and begin to also inspire more people to create their own stories. Beginning the game of content saturation versus rising viewership. This concept is easy to spot in all aspects of entertainment once you start looking. Let's use an example directly connected to this topic. Imagine roleplays have not yet existed. So far, there is nothing in this space. Suddenly, Creator A uploads a roleplay. The thumbnail is pretty basic, title not too interesting, and views are pretty low. So far, the competition for this type of content is extremely low, and so the bar that is set for the viewer's attention is as well. Now suddenly, Creator A's content begins attracting more viewers who have found an interest in Minecraft roleplays by discovering this video. This begins the growth of the community. Now, let's bring in a new YouTuber, Creator B. This YouTuber saw Creator A's video and was inspired by their content, and thinks to themselves, I can do that. So Creator B also uploads their own roleplay as well. But Creator B wants their own video to find the viewership Creator A already has, since those viewers will have the same interests. So Creator B begins to think of how it would be possible to make sure they are found and watched by that community, and they get to planning. Creator A's thumbnail seemed a little too basic, so Creator B will make sure their thumbnail looks at least a little better than Creator A's, to make sure their thumbnail pops out more. Creator A's title didn't have anything too noteworthy to look at, so Creator B will try and make sure their title attracts the attention of the viewers more than Creator A's. Competition now exists within the space. I will note and say that this isn't a bad thing at all, especially for the viewers. This pushes the quality of content up. But let's continue with the example. Creator B's content now gets more views than Creator A ever got. Creator A may now be thinking to themselves, 
I need to show the audience my content quality is also going up. So they decide to make their thumbnails and titles even better as well. But this only matches Creator B in competition. So Creator A decides to now increase the quality within their own video. Maybe they decided to add more sound effects, write a more in-depth story, or introduce cinematic camera work into the role plays. The audience eventually sees this increase in quality and it shows in views for Creator A, further incentivizing even more increases in quality down the road to stay ahead of competition. But we aren't done yet. Creator B, now seeing these drastic changes in quality on the side of Creator A, decides to also up their own quality. But you see, this now only matches Creator A in competition for viewership on YouTube. Creator B must now find their own way to have a leg up on Creator A. So Creator B decides that if they are both already battling in terms of quality, they will now upload even more videos. What was once an every other week, or even weekly upload, now becomes an upload every few days. We can see how quickly competition can fuel innovation in the fight for viewership. Yet still, this example becomes even more drastic. Now, with all this content and viewership, even more people are inspired to do this content themselves. Introducing Creator C, D, E, F, and so on. All of these creators learned from the previous original YouTubers and will use the lessons they saw Creator A and B learn to their own advantage. Creators C, D, E, F, etc. all decide in order to compete with the already established creators that they will upload daily, thinking maybe at least if even one video takes off, it will be worth it to upload so often. This leads to saturation of content. Now, as long as the total amount of viewers within the community is also exponentially growing proportionally alongside the amount of content creators making the content, this isn't ever really a problem, and as stated earlier, is healthy for the viewer's sake, as they are always receiving better and better content with more options than ever. But here's the thing, eventually, the total number of viewers in the community will inevitably stop growing. It was bound to happen from the very beginning. When it would happen, though, is up in the air. Why is the growth of the community guaranteed to slow and eventually come to a stop? In the grand scale of things, roleplays can be viewed as a trend, and like all trends, people will get tired of watching the same thing and become burned out. I mean, does anyone remember fidget spinners? That serves as a great example. As well as for the time being, the community may have reached the hypothetical maximum number of people that would have been interested in the topic in the first place. Put both creator and viewer burnout and the maximum viewership ceiling being reached all together, and we have now come to viewership degradation, where the size of the community will begin to shrink. Here's the thing though, this doesn't have to be the end. Burnout? Time has passed, and the medium of Minecraft roleplays has changed while everyone has focused their attention elsewhere. The viewership ceiling being reached? Newer generations have grown up, and there is a set of fresh new eyes that may not have discovered this community just waiting to explode in a beautiful new renaissance. You never know. And to top it all off, like the solution to burnout, roleplays have become more than just a Minecraft gimmick. They're shows, movies, and have moved far beyond just a Minecraft story, but stories simply using Minecraft as their medium to tell. After I gave this example without any specific names, I would love to hear what names came to mind to you in the comments section down below. With the example set, let's answer some questions. What is the future of Minecraft roleplays? To me, I envision the future somewhat as YouTube animation channels function. The time and effort it takes to upload is far too much to expect anywhere near a daily upload routine. But the animation community seems to rely on each other for the continued entertainment for viewers. Animator A just uploaded? Great! Now they may take a week or month to upload again, but Animator B just uploaded their own animation on their channel that you can enjoy in the meantime. This may become the reality of Minecraft roleplay channels if we can reinvigorate it a bit more and really lean into the quality we have now. Where can I find these next generation roleplays? This is up to the community. Of course, I myself being a Minecraft roleplay YouTuber could easily suggest my own content. But that's not the point. The point is that there are people with less viewership and less exposure that could be creating stories with a quality far higher than my own. And I need your help to truly get those names out there and show the community that they exist. Let me use my example one last time to show just how much potential for a renaissance of this community could be. At first, things were simple. And as it grew, stories got complex, but demand got so high, as well as the cost of making them. And the bar was set so high, it became difficult to do. And all of that was just to maintain the ceiling of viewership that was reached. But now that the ceiling has collapsed, that pressure to upload daily has also collapsed. 
Yet the quality remained, and those who have continued working hard have been staying their course, creating because they want to be proud of what they made, without the pressure of viewership. And within that is a gem of content we all have wanted ever since the golden age first happened. Maybe the term roleplay is outdated now. No longer is the premium content being created within this community matching the definition we first set in this video. It isn't any longer a roleplay by definition, but a full-on show with voice acting based on fully written scripts, animations rather than just first-person perspectives, top-tier production rather than daily improv. So here is what I suggest, and I suggest this in the hopes that all who agree with me use this term in your own content, should you choose to make content like this. I want to think of a term that is easy to recognize, straight to the point, and describes the community as easily as possible. Currently, it's an unspoken rule that titles and descriptions of this content use the term Minecraft Roleplay. But this is a term created almost a decade ago, and things have changed. As a creator myself, I feel titles should be as clean and simple as possible so that viewers have less anxiety when picking content. But until now, we all use this dated term since we all want to match the content we compete with for the algorithm at the current moment. So the first thing I would think of is sticking to a standard of shortening this term for Minecraft roleplay to just MCRP. But like I was saying, I don't think roleplay fits this specific genre anymore. Though of course, if you make content that is only first person perspective and fits the term roleplay well, then by all means stick to it. And the term animation seems to still describe something slightly different than this new production of storytelling within Minecraft. So the final term I've concluded to is MCTV. Easy to remember, easy to spell, and easy to understand. Everyone knows that MC always means Minecraft, and TV always means, well, television. And this perfectly embodies what the new age of Minecraft story content is. So I personally and humbly ask any Minecraft story content creator that sees this, will you take the leap of faith with me in trying this new term and new age of this community? If you upload a video or a TikTok and use hashtags, hashtag MCTV, as well as to any viewers that would like to help, spreading the word of this possible new direction of the community. And get this, you know how I asked ChatGPT for the definition of a Minecraft roleplay? Well, I asked it the following, what is the definition of Minecraft TV? And it said, as far as I know, there is no such thing as Minecraft TV. So let's give it something good to reference. There is so much passion and love for the stories being told in this medium. To some, this is just some block game and people are telling wacky stories. To others, it's an experience that is hard to describe until you truly watch it for yourself. And I believe that enough time has passed for there to be another chance for all of this and all of us. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I personally just want to give a massive thank you. I've had a roller coaster ride working on this channel after all these years and am excited to see what the future holds. Not just for me, but all of the other story creators who may also have been feeling that slight despair of the grim direction this community has been slipping towards. I'll leave all of you with finally mentioning a single name. The most well-known and largest name that has left a mark on this community, Aphmau. I'm sure a great many of you had this name in mind throughout the video, and it's because of the legacy they created. But the truth is, they most likely won't ever return to Minecraft roleplays again, as won't most other Minecraft roleplay creators who have moved on. Nostalgia is a comfortable feeling. It can be good in small doses, but too much, and you'll never see what's to come next. It's up to us, not just me, but to all the new generation, the Creator Z and beyond. Be confident in failing, and eventually, maybe you'll find success when you thought it was least likely. Let's do this together. Speaking of which, thank you to all of my paid supporters who are helping fund the new content on this channel. Whether you're a paid supporter from my public Discord, or here on the YouTube memberships, you never go unnoticed, and as always, will be credited in all my videos along with other bonus perks. Thanks again. If you're interested in seeing anything from me, I would suggest watching my latest Minecraft TV series on screen now, and I'll see you all in the next one.